Leonardo Quevedo, age 13, from Frisco, Texas, asks, What is Islam's approach to scientific findings like evolution? Evolution. Is it a fact or is it a myth? Let's find out. Darwinism teaches that the present human form has evolved from a species of apes. Religions don't hold the same view. Does science get this one right? Or the religion? Or is there a common ground where the two meet? Uh, what does your religion say about evolution? Well, um, I do not actually have a formal affiliation with any particular religion, but um, basically I do believe in evolution. Um, I don't think it necessarily means that there wasn't like a, another power involved with it, whether it's like a collective consciousness thing or something else, I don't know. But um, but yeah, no, I do believe in like evolution. Um, I'm Catholic and my religion says, used to say that it was like all not real and stuff, but now I, I was taught that it can go hand in hand. The teachings of Islam are consistent with scientific findings on evolution. There is no contradiction between the science and the scientific nature which God Almighty has created and the spiritual law which Allah Ta'ala has given to us in the Holy Quran. Allah Ta'ala has described how we as human beings came from single cell organisms, from a very basic form of life and evolved eventually to the point that we are right now as human beings. So the concept of evolution is completely consistent with the teachings of Islam and our khulafa have elaborated on this. There is one point to remember which is that the teachings of Islam are not consistent with every point of Darwinism. There are many parts of Darwinism that are not consistent with science and that is what Islam disagrees with. There are many factors that cannot be accounted for with random variation and natural selection huge steps that exist between different species and between evolutionary leaps. Also, there are many unaccounted for complexities that exist within life that cannot be explained as being the product of natural selection. For example, the complexity of our eyes and the nature of our eyeball. And also, as Khalifa al-Masih Rabi Ta'ala has given the example of the complexity of mosquitoes, that there are certain aspects and organs of different life which cannot be accounted for as being the gradual product of evolution and natural selection. So those parts of Darwin's theory that are consistent with science, those are consistent with Islam. But those parts of Darwinian theory which require inferential leaps, you know, just, just filling in the gaps with our own imagination that are not science, that is something that Islam does not agree with and believe in. And so the general concept of evolution is consistent with the religion of Islam. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also send in your questions to Ask Imam using this info.